Hi, I'm Megan, and I'm from Bellevue East. And <laughs> this poem is called Constellations. When I asked my mother how she and my dad first started talking, she said, it all started with constellations. You see, my dad is a quiet person, but once you strike a chord with him, once you show him that you understand, he can talk for hours. She asked him about the constellations, asked him where the Big Bang was, asked him to point out Orion's belt, and from that day on, they never looked back. They were bonded together by seemingly useless information, but it was the stars that brought them together, and if that doesn't sound like fate, I don't know what does. I asked her, when was the first time she told him she loved him? She said she whispered it in French, je t'aime, because she was too afraid to say it out loud. I guess some things just happen. But sometimes, sometimes it's more about the implications of love is a word we don't say in my house. Unless I'm talking to the assortment of house pets, I don't say I love you because it seems children learn by example. My parents don't say it because they're afraid I will use it against them. But every time my mother says, are you sure you don't need another jacket? When my father pretends to listen when I'm talking to him, the I love you is implied. The first and only time I ever told my mother I hated her, she immediately responded with, yeah, I'm sure you do. But I'm not gonna pretend I didn't hear her crying later. I'm not gonna pretend I didn't cry too. And it frustrates me that I can tell my mother I hate her, but I'm not brave enough to say I love you. And the honest truth is I wish I was. The honest truth is I cannot stop thinking about the constellations, about the implications of love, about the way we mean what we say, but we never say what we mean. But on that night, under that map of stars, I hope they said everything they ever wanted to say to each other. I hope she told him how, much, how long she'd been loving him from afar, how much she'd hoped for him. I hope he told her None of the other girls understood that he'd been looking for someone whose broken parts squeak at the same frequency. I hope they were scared. I hope they were nervous. I hope they said it anyway, forever stitching the stars together. And the honest truth is, ever since I heard that story, I am fascinated by constellations, by the, by the notion that I am a collaboration of constellations that from Earth, stars look like tiny dots of light, but you still get the implication that somewhere a fire is burning.